Hello friends, my name is uh, Shah Fasal. I am an IS officer of 2010 batch and I will be sharing with you the strategy for absolute beginners. Beginners with a capital B, somebody who doesn't really know anything about the civil services. The first thing is that there's no shame in knowing nothing about the exam. Believe me, I knew nothing at a certain point of time about the civil services exam. And I still thought I can qualify it. You have to begin with that confidence. And I believe that if you have a dream, the dream is enough. You will, you will find your way one day. So the day you think that, okay, now you need to st start your preparation. I suggest that you sleep for the entire Sunday. Listen to good music. Talk to your friends. And next Monday morning, you set out for this amazing journey. Now, as you take your first step, I suggest that whatever the morning newspaper comes to your home, just grab it and do something different that day. Read a piece, preferably an op-ed piece, that you would have never read otherwise. So, it starts on a boring note after a pleasing holiday. Now let's get ready for the market. You have to shop for the things ahead and the days that are going to be really tough. Go straight to the magazine seller. Buy a GK magazine that you used to get during your school days. You remember that small rupees 20 pocket size information booklet basic kind of childish very simple one. Also buy an atlas and a world map and an India map, maybe physical as well as the economic, as well as the political, if you get that. Look, it begins with a map. It's like a journey. It's like going into an unfamiliar territory. So go home with the map and the pocket GK. Buy nothing else that day. Spend a week with knowing the world around you. Read the facts from your booklet and try to place them, pin them on the map. Remember the places, try to remember the places at least. You can use your Google Earth also. When you want to lean against a pillow and are not in a mood to carry the map, introduce yourself to the places, continents, oceans, major islands, prominent latitudes. Imagine yourself traveling across the world. Run your finger, if you have a globe or a map, through it. Just look at the beautiful world that's around you which you are trying to explore through the civil services exam. It's a fun week with basic statistics, facts and figures about India and the world. Now I suggest that while you're doing this, you can also watch some online interviews with a few UPSC qualifiers. Read some interviews on the magazines also if you get. Do it during the math phase. Gentlemen, gentlemen should preferably watch interviews of lady qualifiers and vice versa. This eliminates the gender bias. Now let's get serious. Difficulty level needs to be increased now. Let's revise what we had read in our school. I am, I am presuming that you have been an absolute wonder all these years. You have never been able to identify or to relate to whatever is being asked in the civil services exam. So, and to get back, these small things have to be done. If you don't have the school textbooks, your own preferably, buy a set. NCERT class 6 to 10 will be useful and it's now available online also. But even if it's not available online, just try to get it from the nearest bookshop. Even the nursery books, the class 1 and class 2 books, if you want to read, it doesn't hurt, trust me, it helps. Remember, CSC is about everything that an intelligent man should know. Simultaneously, get a book for Indian polity, Indian geography, history, mainly modern India, science tech and culture. Look, I won't be naming the books and publishers. It involves a conflict of interest. By now, you should be knowing how many states India has, what happened in 1905, where does the Narmada go, how does the weather forecast work 
And why do we take vitamin C for bleeding gums? But, 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 if you don't know it, don't worry, still go on. Discuss your optional subject with someone who has qualified or appeared in the exam. If you don't find any, then do this. Go to the market, zero on four likely optional subjects which you identify with, which you relate to. Get syllabus and a basic text of each. Get previous year's papers. It involves an investment of rupees 1000 or 2000. I think it's worth it. Read a bit from each and see what suits your temperament. Don't get into the trap of scoring and non-scoring subjects. Now familiarize yourself with the pattern of question papers. Get some solved question banks and try to understand the scope, range and compl complexity level. Do similar practice for CSAT. Study the most basic things first. Now start writing practice. Try small paragraphs, short essays, opinion pieces on anything that you have understood so far. If you haven't understood anything, try to write about your own self. But yes, look at the slides. You will have to mind your handwriting. Trust me, it really matters. The presentation in your paper in the mains does matter. We close this phase with a small test. Go through the old paper again and the one that you, you remember that you had seen in the first week. See if you have progressed. Try an online test paper also. You should be able to solve at least 5% questions at this stage. I mean the multiple choice questions. Now you are fit for the extensive preparation. You are not a beginner anymore. Motivate yourself to read more and accelerate. Take it as a fun job. Believe that you are doing something which is a part of your growth. This is not only about qualifying an exam, but the things that you study today will stay with you. They will help you in becoming more mature and a more reasoned and a logical human being. I wish you luck and I'll be soon back with another video to tell you how to go from here. Thank you very much.